Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Michelle Obama and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day today, dudes. And basically today we're going to be talking about Rockstar, E3, GTA 6, Red Dead Redemption, all that type of stuff. And give you guys a couple of updates on the progress of GTA 6 and some brand new information that, you know, recently came out. So I just want to go ahead and share that with you guys. Now, before we go ahead and begin, how about you guys help me out with a little problem that I'm having. Okay, so my last video, I wasn't able to get 20 likes like I wanted to. So hopefully we can go ahead and reach my new like goal. I'm just going to lower it down a little bit. Can we go for five likes? Five likes, guys. Five blue thumbs up. Also, real quick, I want to go ahead and tell you guys this, that I recently deleted a couple of people off my friend list because they're kind of inactive. So I'm going to go ahead and add a bunch of you guys. So if you want to be added towards my friend list where we can play GTA 5 sometimes, make sure that you guys leave your names down below in the comment section, and I'll go ahead and add a couple of you guys to play with me. Just letting you guys know, just in case you want to play with me because I really don't have that many folks out there to play GTA 5 with me because I'm always playing really late. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just really lonely. And also subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. I would hate it if you missed out any of my brand new videos. But with that being said, let's get on started with today's topic. Alright everybody, so basically we're going to go ahead and tell you the story about Rockstar actually attending E3. Now if you guys didn't know, Rockstar actually did come to E3 and a lot of people were actually really excited because they were like, holy snap, Rockstar, are they going to go ahead and announce a bunch of brand new stuff like, I don't know, GTA 6 or Red Dead Redemption and all that stuff. But yeah guys, Rockstar was actually invited and they did attend, which was absolutely crazy. Now, basically in E3, if you guys don't know, it's the place where a lot of people like to come along and uh, showcase all the brand new stuff that they're going to be releasing among the years. Like, you know, a bunch of gaming developers do all that type of stuff. And it will make sense for Rockstar to actually go ahead and announce something because it's E3. I mean, the place where all the stuff gets announced. And basically, since E3 is already over and you guys probably don't know this, I'm going to go ahead and share exactly what happened. Rockstar didn't showcase anything. I mean, a lot of people were actually going ahead and saying that they were going to showcase a brand new Red Dead Redemption game. And I'm here thinking, oh, snap, I'm, I'm ready for a new Red Dead Redemption game. I mean, when was the first one released? Like a couple of years ago. And now that E3 is over, Rockstar came there and they didn't announce anything whatsoever. Like, what the fuck? I, I mean, I was shocked because I was like, what the, what's going on? How long am I going to be waiting for a brand new game? Now, a lot of people were actually saying that Rockstar was going to go ahead and showcase a brand new trailer for a Red Dead Redemption game. But the reason why they didn't go ahead and showcase the trailer to a lot of people was because of the event that happened right when E3 was going on with the Orlando shooting. Which I can kind of see because, you know, a lot of people are sensitive and they might get offended if they see a bunch of people getting shot up in a bar or something in Red Dead Redemption. So right here in this article that reports about it, right here it says, There are reports that Rockstar pull its violent trailer from the new Red Dead game following the horrific events in Orlando. Uh, though Adam Boys, VP of third party relations at PlayStations, says the company never intended to show a Rockstar game in the first place. Also, a random fan actually tweeted out at one of the developers over at the PlayStation booth of E3, and right here he said, I'm hearing a certain game was cut from the end of the show and replaced with Days Gone gameplay. Is there any truth to this? And right here, Adam Boyd, again, he says, no, this is not true. The length and content we showed has been locked and unchanged for months. So it's not like Rockstar actually went ahead and said, nah, we're just going to change our minds and not do this. They just plain out was not going to show anything whatsoever when E3 rolled by. So when I heard about this, I was actually really disappointed. I mean, we waited years upon years and years for something to come out from Rockstar, like anything. I really don't care. It could be any Thing, but it looks like the reason why Rockstar came there was just to enjoy the show and just chill and not showcase anything whatsoever. But anywho, moving away from all that foolishness, now we're going to go ahead and tell you guys about all the information that we know so far in regards to GTA 6. Now, I made a video about this like months ago, but now I'm going to give you guys a more updated version about all the information that we have now. So first of all, let's go ahead and talk about the location on where GTA 6 can take place at. So, a lot of people were actually saying that it could take place again in Liberty City, just like GTA 4. Now, some other people said in Tokyo, which 
which in my opinion would be a pretty cool idea actually and other reports were saying that the game could take place in the whole United States like you can go from plane to plane and travel across the states upon states from Liberty City to Los Santos to all those crazy places and in my honest opinion that would be pretty fucking awesome and other people have been saying London yeah London that's pretty fucking crazy actually and right here we got apart from the article that actually discusses that so right here in this article, it says that Yibata has reported on speculation that the next GTA title could depart American shores in favor of London. There's nothing in the way of actual evidence of this, uh, though several outlets have echoed the speculation. While a London-based return would be brilliant, the GTA atmosphere is very much entwined with its satirical version of the US. Now a GTA game actually taking place in London doesn't sound like a pretty bad idea in my honest opinion. I mean, I would love it if I can actually go ahead and visit there, or if they were to go ahead and have a GTA whole world map like the US where you can fly to London and fly to other places, then that, in my honest opinion, will make the game pretty much absolutely fucking awesome. I mean, having the option to travel around the states in the GTA world will be pretty awesome in my honest opinion man but anyways how about we go ahead and move on dude now if you guys don't know GTA 6 is in development I mean we got a bunch of reports already and right here I'm gonna be sharing them with you so right here it says Rockstar has allegedly started work a new iteration in the Grand Theft Auto series although the studio has yet to settle on the location for GTA 6 now, right here it says, this comes according to a report from Tech Raider, citing an unnamed insider source that said, preliminary work has begun on the sequel. The source claims that the studio at one point were considering a GTA game set in Tokyo, but was put off by the problematic road system and the difficulties of moving the game outside of the USA. So not only do we have reports that GTA was actually going to take place in Tokyo, which again does sound pretty fucking awesome, but it looks like it was canceled all due to the fact that a gaming company in the US and in the UK will be kind of difficult for them to understand how the things in Tokyo work. I mean, it is a totally different place than here, so I guess that will be kind of difficult for them to actually go ahead and complete. But right here it says Rockstar was a allegedly considering a GTA Tokyo around the time of GTA Vice City, so it's likely that the developers opted for the LA aspiring San Andreas instead. The game came over a decade ago and all the iteration in the series since then has been set in the US. Could Rockstar be tempted to stray outside of North America for GTA 6? There are no firm details about the next game's location, but a US-based setting is still the most likely to happen. Aside from the expansion from the original Grand Theft Auto set in London, all games in the series have been based in America. So right here, I can pretty much tell you guys that since Rockstar hasn't really done anything outside of North America, it would be kind of weird for them to transition to that now. So I'm more in the likely part that the game could probably take place back in Liberty City, or we can go ahead and combine Los Santos and Liberty City together where we can go ahead and fly there in and out or they can actually give us a whole map that takes place in the whole United States of America. But how about we go ahead and stray away from that and talk about the release date on when GTA 6 can actually come out. So right here it says GTA 6 development will be at an early stage and with GTA Online going strong it'll likely be a couple of years before Rockstar is ready to bring out a sequel to GTA 5. There was a 4 year gap between San Andreas and GTA 4 and a 5 year gap between GTA 4 and GTA 5. Using this pattern as a rough yardstick, GTA 6 is likely to turn up around 2017 and 2018 as you guys can see from right here. So a lot of people, like I said before, have been saying the year 2018 is around the perfect date where Rockstar can, can make this game come out. I mean I've been saying this for the past videos where I talk about GTA 6 and it would make actual sense. My best guess is we're going to get some type of trailer for GTA 6 around 2017 at the earliest and then 2018 is when Rockstar will actually release this game and all of us can go ahead and kill each other over on that game which would be pretty fucking awesome in my opinion. But with that being said, I do hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully we get some more information as the months go and roll by. I mean, GTA Online is still going on, so hopefully when Rockstar is done with all the DLC and stuff, we'll go ahead and get some new games 
by Rockstar like Red Dead Redemption and Bully, and then probably a GTA 6 around 2018, which would be pretty fucking awesome in my you know, opinion. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video all the way towards the end. I really do appreciate you guys, and also if you did enjoy, make sure you leave that blue thumbs up. It'll be ever so much appreciated, dude. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand spanking new. I will hit you if you missed out any of my brand new videos. And with that being said, I'll see you guys later, and peace.